C'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, goal! Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Saturday, January 14th. Wow, just wow. Yesterday we billed it as the biggest game of the season and it didn't disappoint, but nobody could have predicted a 5-1 win at the Stadio Maradona for his beloved Napoli against Juventus. It was first versus second. A win for Juventus would have been their ninth in a row and put them to within just four points of Napoli, a distance they would be more than capable of reducing even further with half a season to go. But instead of leaving Naples with three points, Max Allegri left the city with his tail between his legs. By far the star of the show was Napoli's Nigerian striker Victor Osimen, and it was the man in the mask who opened the scoring on 14 minutes when Chichesny's save from a Kravashkelia shot fell to the striker to nod home. The Georgian winger scored the second himself. Osimen forced an error from Bremer and when he slotted the ball over for Kravashkelia, his right-footed finish was crisp and accurate. But then Juve took control and for the final 10 minutes of the first half, they looked the stronger team. Di Maria's persistence on the edge of the box finished with a curling shot past Merit for 2-1. Juve right back in it just before half time. Indeed, were it not for an amazing reflex save from Merit when Rahmani sliced a clearance towards his own goal, Juve could have gone in level. In the second half though, Napoli took control. Osimen had the Juve defenders absolutely terrified. The Juve defenders, who remember, had not conceded a goal for nine games. They folded again on 55 minutes. A corner from the right was flicked by Zambo Anguissa and found its way to Rahmani, who finished well from just inside the box to make it 3-1. The pick of the goals was Napoli's fourth and Osimen's second. After keeping the ball from going out for another Napoli corner, Bremer was dispossessed by Mario Rui, who slipped it to Kravachgelia. His cross into the box was a thing of beauty, curling in between two Juve defenders to find the head of Osimen, who thundered it past Chichesny for 4-1. The route was complete on 72 when Elmas rounded off a neat passing move with a deflected goal. On the night of Andrea Agnelli's final official game as Juve president, his team were well and truly humbled, conceding five in a league match for the first time in just short of 30 years. After the game, Allegri offered up an honest appraisal. This was a deserved defeat because we went into the game with less energy. The situations we conceded were also fairly easy to read and predict, but sometimes luck is on your side and sometimes it isn't. We tried to turn it around towards half-time, but Napoli fully deserved it. Meanwhile, Osimen was keen to spread the praise around the team. Congratulations to the team. Big respect to Juventus for the fight. We needed this more. I'm happy for the result and happy to contribute to the team with two goals and an assist. We want to build on this momentum. Milan, who were in third place on goal difference, tonight have the chance to capitalise on Juve's defeat and can go three points ahead of them with an away win to Lecce, while Inter can draw level with Juventus with a win at home to Verona. Here are the rest of this weekend's Serie A matches. Today it's Cremonese Monza, Lecce Milan and Inter Verona. Tomorrow Sassuolo Lazio, Torino Spezia, Udinese Bologna, Atalanta Salernitana and Roma Fiorentina. While on Monday it's Empoli vs Sampdoria. And that's your Calcio Daily for today. You can show us some love for free by subscribing to the YouTube channel or if you value what we do, you can send us a boost from the Fountain Podcast app. Until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying, Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani!